Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite homemade cleaning products that are all non-toxic and things that you probably already have around your house anyway. I'm really passionate about trying to use as many non-toxic things as possible in our home, especially with little children and being pregnant and all of that stuff. So I have pretty much substituted every single conventional cleaner with a homemade natural product. Hopefully some of these things are helpful for you guys as well, give you some ideas of things you can change in your home that's really not very hard to do. So let's get right into this video. So the first thing on my list is white vinegar. I use this for almost all cleaning or some variation of white vinegar for all cleaning. It cuts grease, it removes odors, it helps remove stains. For my main all-purpose cleaner, I just dilute it one-to-one -one with water, so half white vinegar, half water, and that's what I use to clean almost everything. One of my favorite things to do with white vinegar, too, is when we've eaten some citrus, I'll take the citrus peels and put them in a jar and then cover them with white vinegar and let them soak for you know, as long as you want. I usually let mine soak for like two or so weeks, but you don't have to do it that long. And it just pulls all the amazing qualities out of the citrus and it not only smells really great, but citrus has some really amazing cleaning power as well. So I love doing that. And then I just take that and dilute it one to one with water. And that is what I use as my all purpose cleaner when I have citrus on hand to, to make that with. The next thing on the list is baking soda. And I use this when I got some serious grime to scrub. I mainly use this for our toilet and bathtub. What I do to clean those is I'll spray it down with my vinegar spray and then I'll sprinkle this over it and let those sit for a little while and then I'll scrub them out and it gets it perfectly clean and shiny white every time. But this gives you the grit that you really need to scrub off stuff. So I, I really like this. It can also help neutralize odors. A great thing to do is to sprinkle this over your carpet a little while before you're going to vacuum it and it helps. It'll help if you have any carpet odors that you're having a hard time getting rid of. This helps with that a lot. The next thing on the list is castile soap. I love Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. This you can use for anything. We use it for hand soap, face soap, body wash. I use it for my shampoo. Uh, we use it for like everything. One great way to use this is to take your all-purpose cleaner, which in my case is just diluted vinegar, and put a little splash of this in that and it just boosts the cleaning power even more. You can squirt some on a wet rag and scrub baseboards, toys, or doors, or in anything pretty much. I like to put a little splash of it in my mop bucket before I mop the floors along with a little bit of white vinegar and that just really gets it nice and clean. The next thing is essential oils. And not only does this really boost the cleaning power of your cleaning supplies, but it makes your house smell amazing. My two favorite essential oils for cleaning are lemon and melaleuca. These two essential oils are antibacterial. They're just really great for cleaning. If I have something like in the bathtub or in the sink or something that's just really stuck on, like some soap scum or something. If I drop a little bit of lemon essential oil on it and let it sit for a little bit, it scrubs right off. This just works so well for that. I love adding a few drops of essential oils into my all-purpose vinegar cleaner. You can use essential oils to make room freshening sprays with water and essential oils and it just kills bacteria in the air. It makes it smell really nice. I love running our essential oil diffuser all the time, pretty much all the time it's running. And the next thing is hydrogen peroxide, and this is a great natural alternative to bleach. I add some of this into my white laundry instead of bleach, and I don't think we've used bleach for like three years. It's really toxic and bad for you and kind of dangerous, and so hydrogen peroxide is just way safer, and it it gets the job done really well. I'm really happy with how hydrogen peroxide bleaches things. It's also a natural disinfectant, so I like to use a little bit of this to wipe down like my cutting boards or the countertops or just different things like that that tend to get dirtier with like food sitting on them more often. So I like using this as a disinfectant for things like that. And then I also wanted to talk about the two kinds of rags that I use for cleaning. My main favorite kind of rag is an old pre-fold cloth diaper. And because it's a cloth diaper, it's very absorbent, so I'm not like constantly having to get a new cloth because it's like too soaked 
with water or whatever. I love using this, it scrubs really nice. For a while I had some microfiber cloths and they just do not absorb very well. These work really great for cleaning glass. I pretty much just use these for like everything. <laughs> and it's really nice because then if you're cloth diapering and you have some cloth diapers that have worn out, either pre-folds or flats are the best ones to use for this, but just once they're worn out and you're done with using them for cloth diapers, they're just not quite absorbent enough, you can use them for cleaning rags and so that they just serve more than one purpose. This next one is a big flat cloth diaper and you can see it's very stained because I use it for a rag now. This is a flower sack towel and this is my favorite for cleaning glass. It just gets it really nice and clean and doesn't leave smudges like some some cloths do. And so all this stuff is just non-toxic, it's safe to use in your home, around your kids, and it's also way cheaper than buying individual cleaners for every little thing that you need cleaned, like a glass cleaner, a toilet cleaner. I use pretty much all of these things in just different variations, different ways for cleaning everything in our house, and so it's just really nice. It saves us a lot of money. You're repurposing things that might get thrown away otherwise if they're getting too old to to serve a different purpose, use them for something else. Two other things that I use for cleaning a lot are washing soda and borax. I use these mostly to make homemade laundry detergent, and then I also use washing soda to make dishwashing pods. So if you have just all of these things, I think there's like seven items here, you can use them for everything. Hopefully this was helpful and informative to you guys. So if you're interested in seeing more of this kind of video, I will link my cleaning playlist down below. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.